guys, Ann here, and today we're going to do a get ready with me and kind of talk a little bit. There's some things on my mind that I just want to talk about with you guys as I'm getting ready because I do have a main channel called Just Ann, which I do some unboxing, beauty related videos, unboxing, mystery boxes, stuff like that. So I have some things to unbox and I have to get ready anyway and I figured why not film it? And talk to you guys so if that is something that you're interested in and keep on watching all right I usually do my eye makeup first so that's what we're going to do I don't have anything on my face except for my skincare I did do my eyebrows I just got done doing an eyebrow like using eyebrow stencils for the first time so I don't know if you've seen that video before this one or what if you have it that video is coming and oh my god Anywho, so I just have my eyebrows on, my skincare, on my lips, which I gotta add some more, is from Tarte. We got this on our Ipsy X with the Chloe um, and Ipsy. And this is the Maracuja Kuja Lip, Juicy Lip in the shade Rose. But on my lips, since I, my lips have color to them anyway, it's more like a clear, and I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I mean, look, it's, it's like literally almost gone. Okay. So on my eyes, I'm going to be trying the uh, Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. The Modern Renaissance. I had this puppy for years. And then the Soft Glam. I, I, I don't know what type of eye look I'm going to use today. Oh, let me show you what the Naughty Nude looks like. I got this on a Poshmark Mystery Box. Um, I'll link that video down below. That's on my main channel. This thing is like hard to open though. Okay. I haven't even used it yet. So that's what she looks like. So like I said, I don't know what I'm going, what type of eye look. We're just going to do a get ready with me as I, um, talk. Oh, I do have an eyeshadow primer on. I'm sorry. I do have that on. That is the Clean Canvas by... Gerard Cosmetics. I do have a discount code with them. It's just Dan in all caps. It'll save you 30% off. And then um, I have an e.l.f. like uh, like a translucent powder just to set it. That's it. So I don't know, like I'm going to go in with the uh, Modern Renaissance, this orange shade as a transition. And I'm not really going to tell you everything that I'm using. Like I said, we'll be here for ages. I'll just leave everything down in the description box. So I wanted to talk to you guys of stuff that's really been bothering me because I noticed for me, um, I have a mirror right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, YouTube isn't the same anymore. You know, on my main channel, I do a lot of subscription boxes. That's mainly what I do on that channel. And I know you guys ask me a lot, like, you know, do get readies with me, do tutorials, you know, but when I do any kind of beauty related stuff there, like, I don't know if like maybe you guys aren't into it the views are so low I don't know maybe YouTube isn't notifying you guys you know what I mean because it's different context you know I don't know so and I'm kind of getting tired of subscription boxes hence why I started this channel because you know I could do other things talk about other things I want to do vlogs and you know take you guys to the doctors with me talk about you know I'm a real person talk about my prior drug addiction my shopping addiction you know what I'm saying and stuff like that um, on this channel you know and I just haven't been into YouTube as much. And I know a lot of content creators are saying that because I watch them and they all say, even my friend Abby from Abadabs, she's a very good friend of mine. We talk on the phone every day, every morning by 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm either texting her or she's texting me, you know? And we both say the same thing. And maybe it's the subscription boxes, you know, you get tired. Like I've been doing YouTube for four years unboxings, right? And I know you guys are tired of it too. Um, I, I know that's why the views are a lot lower. Like everybody's channel is lower, uh, the views and stuff with that. And I, I know it has a lot to do with the pandemic, right? Oh, come on, Ann. Do things. To, I cannot multitask, but get it together, Ann. Come on. Talk and do your makeup. Um, this is why I don't do a lot of uh, get readies with me and talk because <laughs> I forget to do my makeup. Anywho, um, I, I, I don't know because of the pandemic and is it like 
you know, people don't have the money or they just not enter sub subscription boxes anymore. I don't know what it is. But me and Abby talk and it's like, you know, I've been doing it for four years. And it's like, you know, I wanna do other things besides, I love the subscription boxes. I got into subscription boxes because of the mystery. Like, what am I gonna get, you know? Now there's so many spoilers and stuff. It's just not the same for me why I get it. And I also like, when I first started getting into makeup, doing YouTube, um, it's like, I didn't know a lot about makeup. Sorry, I have a, a back injury from a car accident. So if you ever see me like moving around a lot, I just can't sit in one spot for a while. So I apologize if that bothers you. But um, I didn't know a lot about makeup or what stuff to get. So that's why I like subscription boxes too, because I got to find different brands I never heard of. You know what I mean? But anyway, it, it, it's just not the same, you know, because it, it's, you know, the mystery's not there anymore, you know? I always go in with this brush. This is a crown brush. And I don't know if they sell this anymore, but I love this to help um, blend it out. It works really, really good. I have, when I was younger, I used to fight a lot. I've told you guys many times stories, you know. I hang with, uh, I was never in a gang, but my, all my friends were, right? So I was guilty by affiliation, if that makes sense. And I have scars on both eyes from getting punched in the face or fighting or breaking up a fight. I mean, I've been sliced before where I had staples all on my, like, listen, I, I, I was bad. And so as I'm aging, I notice on both eyes right here, it's like the eyeshadow goes where that scar is and I got to make sure it's blended. You know what I'm saying? Now I am a messy person when I do my eyeshadow because at the end I take a wipe and clean it up. So you, you ever see people use tape? I don't do that. And so like, I don't care if it gets all messy here cause I'll clean it up. You know what I mean? But anyway, so what was I saying? I digress and then I forget what I'm talking about. So that's why I like to say that my point is, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of the subscription boxes and that's why I, you know, really do enjoy this channel. But I haven't been filming lately because YouTube has really changed. You know what I mean? It's so much negativity now online. It's like the only things that seems like it's getting views is drama, commentary channels, you know? And uh, I try to stay away from that. I mean, I even had it myself where I had people making videos about me. So most of you guys that have been with me, um, I'm just getting a smaller brush. Oh, I, if you see me doing like this, I use a color switch, you know, but, uh, going in with just a smaller blending brush. So most of you guys know that two years ago, almost two years ago, uh, October will be two years, that my daughter had open heart and lung surgery. They had to take out 10 centimeters of blood clot. She was only 19 years old. And she was in critical condition. When she was in the surgery for three and a half hours, um, the doctor told me it's a 50-50 chance, you know, and I went live on my main channel. I went live and I was asking for prayers, all this type of stuff, and all this drama had happened. I had people call in the hospital. They found out what hospital my daughter was in to see if she was really in surgery, like who would make that up, okay? Because I wasn't acting so distraught like people thought I should have been when it was like I was in shock. You know, because I didn't even know she had blood clots. I didn't even know she was going to have open heart surgery until like 10 minutes prior to her being on open heart surgery. And all I could think of is prayer, pray, pray. My grandmother who raised me had already passed. My mom was dying, which she died a month later on Thanksgiving that year, that morning. And so, you, you know, my mind was going and I'm like, all right, ask for prayer, prayer. So I did a live stream, you know, just for prayer. And uh, holy cow, that turned into a shit show, you know? Like I said, I had people finding out what hospital she was in, I guess because I said a level one, I don't, I don't even know. And um, to see if she was in surgery, I was doing updates on her and I made a video because people were starting to send me uh, money in PayPal. And I made a video saying, update on my daughter, you know, and I told people, stop sending me any money. I don't want anybody to send me money. I appreciate it, but it's close to Christmas, you know, save your money, you know, because there's nothing that you, that, that could have done. Sure, it could help me with gas and get me there and all that, but I, I just want a prayer, you know. I didn't make the video or tell you guys about what's going on with my daughter because I want a 
prayer. It wasn't about that. Do you know what I mean? But I was so appreciative that you guys, you know, were thinking to even do that. Well, somebody took that thumbnail where it said prayers for my daughter and changed it and something else, you know, it was a big old mess. I mean, you guys know about it. And I thought it was one of my friends. I really did. Because I had heard she was talking behind my back, which you can't always believe what you hear. And the same things that she was saying behind my back before that thumbnail came out was on that thumbnail. So this is why you shouldn't assume, okay? And I did. I thought it was her. I thought, oh my God, my daughter almost died. She's in critical condition. She's 19. I'm losing my mom. I'm still grieving over my, do my grandmother because of the guilt that I had with my grandmother. And, you know, it was like... I, I, my, my mind wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, you guys know. Come to find out, it wasn't her. She thought it was me because I'm accusing her. She knows she didn't do it. So she's like, well, Ann must have did it. But she's accusing me. I mean, it was a big old thing. She had just had a baby. So, of course, her, her hormones were all over the place. I'm going through it, you know. Uh, like I said, my grandmother just died. She was the one who helped raise me. My daughter... I didn't know what was going to happen. And my mom was dying. You know, she's been on hospice. And it was like, my mind was just so, excuse my language, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That if it had happened now, I probably would still get pissed off. Like, look, you don't like me, but don't do that with my daughter in that thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? And then send that thumbnail to my child. It was a big mess. Like, but I wouldn't have reacted so bad the way I reacted, right? Well, me and her, we stopped speaking. And of course, I thought she made that thumbnail. She thought I made the thumbnail. Of course, we're going to stop speaking. And there was already a little tension anyway. And so that was both of us just talking it out. You know, we both have this like pride thing. I'm sorry. I thought somebody was coming up here. We both have like this pride. We're both a lot alike. We're both um, short-tempered, high-strung, one of those type of people you know we clash and like I said we were both going through it so we just stopped speaking of course because I'm like you're blaming me you're calling the hospital to see if like you're questioning me I have people telling me you're talking shit on me and I'm thinking you're my friend she's thinking why is she pinning this on me I didn't do it like you understand what I'm saying it is the most stupidest thing because we weren't just like YouTube friends. We were friends in real life, I thought. You know what I mean? And she thought as well. So a year later, I had, my mom had left me this house, okay? And I didn't move in for a whole year because it, it you know, this was my childhood home. I had caught a fire months prior, like before my mom, almost a year before my mom died. And so it was like bittersweet because it's a new house. The house is on fire. They built, they redid it. But, so it's like the memories weren't there anymore. But, you know, it's still a newer house. Does that make sense? It was bittersweet. And every time I came in this house, I kept seeing my mom's dead body in the chair downstairs. And she passed away on Thanksgiving, on a holiday. So, um, I moved in in October. So, almost a year now. And um, me and my husband, we were separated, too. So, because of the way I was acting, I was mean to my friends. I was, uh, like I said, in nine months time, just think, grandmother passing. It was like a mother figure. My daughter almost died. You know what I mean? And what, uh, it was just terrible. And then my mom dies on Thanksgiving. In nine months. And then me and my husband were getting separ were separating. It was tough. Do you know what I'm saying? And so, when I moved in here in October, I kept... Thanksgiving's coming up. So I kept thinking it was going to be the year of my mom's death. And like I said, this was my childhood home. So my mom and grandmother lived together. So there were so many memories of my grandmother who's not here. My grandmother didn't get the chance to see what this house would look like um, when it's redone. She died before that happened. My mom thankfully got to see what this house looked like. She moved in at the end of October. She died Thanksgiving. So almost a month. And um, so that was exciting. But, you know. Anyway, I kept thinking, like, God, this friend did this to me. I can't believe she did this to me. Like, I'm still mad because I'm taking everything out on everybody because I'm just mad. You know what I'm saying? In general. And so I started this channel, and one of my couple first videos, I did a video, and I 
titled it what this evil, evil YouTuber did to me, or something like that, you know? And I was being catty and smart because her YouTube channel has evil in it, right? And um, so yeah, I was being very catty, but I honestly thought she did this. And so I did a story time. I should have never done that. I was being catty. I should have called her, but I don't regret it. And I'll tell you why. So I do this video. I never mention her name. I say, uh, you know, I can't prove that she did it. I never said her name. And I thought, well, because I'm not saying who it is. And I said in my video, like, I, I can't prove that this person did it. Please don't send her hate, blah, blah, blah. Don't put her name in the comments. You know, I thought, oh, that's okay. Well, we don't talk. Well, she tries to call me, but I had already blocked her on everything. So I didn't know she was calling me. And um, she makes a video. She puts a video out December, December 12th. And the reason why I'm stating that, because that's me and my husband's anniversary. Me and my husband got married 12, 12, 12. Not that she knew that. It was probably just a coincidence, right? But now I get this video on my anniversary. So I'm already separated from my husband. This video is made about me saying I have 100% made this thumbnail, talking about other things I should not have been talked about, leaking private messages between me and her because I thought we were friends, but you know, she was out for blood. And I understand completely, because here I'm blaming her for a whole year. Now, she was getting bullied, she was getting all these threats, people calling these subscription boxes to get her off PR list, all this stuff, and she's thinking it's me the whole time. I didn't know that. So now, I make this sec a video a year later, and she's like, oh, she's really trying to trash me. So she was out for blood, you understand? Because two adults should have talked, but no, we didn't because we were both going through so much. And because of her video, we end up talking, and then we found out what really happened, who really did it. We found out everything. So I don't regret making that video. And I'm glad she made her video. Because had that not have happened, we would not have found out the truth, right? We wouldn't have found out the truth. So in a way, like I said, that's why I said I'm not, I'm glad that I did it, you know? Now, we should have handled it differently. We definitely should have handled it like better. I've just called each other and talked. I mean, that's a learning lesson. You, you learn. We should have never, I should have never brought it to YouTube. You guys had to deal with it, right? Um... I mean, do I agree with everything in that video? No, I don't ever think anybody should ever leak. And I'll get, the reason why I'm bringing this up because I'll get into further about what's going on with drama channels and all this stuff, like what YouTube had changed. I don't agree with that. I think what happens on, on private should stay private. And if you guys aren't friends anymore, you shouldn't tell what this, like I will never share her secrets that she ever told me. I will never, anybody, anybody, not just her, I'm using her as an example. I will never, ever, like, I'm good friends with Abby. I'm good friends with Lisa Smith. If me and both of them stop talking, I will never share their secrets. I will never show text messages to prove my innocence. Like, look, I, I, and maybe because I'm 45 and I'm old school and I, I don't know this new generation with this. I, I don't understand it, right? Um. Anyway, so... That had happened. We both make an apology video. We I, we both said we're never going to talk about it again. It's over with. We both know each other didn't make the thumbnail. And that was my main thing. Like, Not that somebody did it, but I thought it was a good, good friend that I spoke to on the phone every day. That's what bothered me. You know what I mean? Like, I think, so it was like the icing on the cake, you know? And because everything else I was dealing with, it was like a, a, another, like, dagger right through my heart. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so because of that, somebody else makes a video, okay? And this person thought I scammed her. And she had every right to think so because when when this other YouTuber, my friend, had uh, made a video on me before I could even defend myself, a lot of people, before I even got to defend myself, so many people like were coming at me. How could you do this? You need to show receipts and proof. She proved and blah, blah. And I'm thinking, how the hell did she prove? Because I didn't do it. Like, what are you talking about? This person profiled me and I didn't do any of this stuff. You know what I mean? 
I, videos I had with my daughter, people were coming at me like, you're a fake, you have fake accounts, and you have, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't have no damn fake accounts. You understand? It was terrible. So this person makes a video saying I scammed her because she was one of the ones who had sent me $50 through PayPal when my daughter was going through what she was going through. And she thought that I made that thumbnail because of what this other YouTuber had said. This was before me and her spoke and realized we didn't, both of us didn't do it. So this other YouTuber thought that I scammed her because I made this thumbnail to make it made this whole story up I had fake accounts for people to feel sorry for me and so she was mad thought I sent her fit she thought she sent me $50 and and she was struggling she didn't really have the $50 to send and it was all a scam and I get why she was pissed off yes when she makes the video I reach out to her I'm like what are you talking about I didn't see because I didn't watch that whole video that this one youtuber had made about me I didn't watch it because right from the beginning, the first 30 seconds, you're showing like a prescription bottle of mine. And I was like, whatever, you know what I mean? I couldn't watch it all. So I didn't realize what at first what everybody was talking about. I thought they were trying to say I was scamming when my mom and grandma had the house fire. So I sent this YouTuber um, like uh, videos of my mom and my grandmother like thanking everybody on a live stream for a PayPal money and blah, 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 you know? And then she finally told me, like, no, I sent you fifty dollars and 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 blah blah blah. And I'm like, it's not true though. I I did make that thumbnail, and I even said to her, I said, listen, if you think I scammed you, I will. I'm going back in with that first brush. Um, I said I will give you your fifty dollars back. You know what I'm saying? But she, like I said, she thought I scammed her. I completely understand, you know, that she thought that and was pissed off. I don't, I'm not mad that she made that video, but she made so many videos, at least 10 to 15 videos. Afterwards, like, she made one video that said, because this one person said, because on my, on this channel, I had made said that I'm 16 years clean. Uh, alcohol was my choice of drug. And then when I would get like tipsy, I wanted more of a drug. So crack cocaine was my other choice of drug. Okay, I've been 16 years clean of, of both, okay? And, but I was prescribed uh, medication, pain medication from pain management on a um, back injury that I had. It was a really bad car accident. Um, but that was never my choice of drug. Like I never got high off of it. I never went short on my medication, um, except for a few times when um, they were trying to wean me off okay, that I started going through like this withdrawal because when you're used to it and they're weaning you off, you will go through withdrawal, okay? I don't know what, like in, in this video, I, I, I don't even wanna get into it. So anyway, this other YouTuber makes a video and says how I am not clean because I'm on these prescription pills and when I don't make videos for days at a time it's because I'm going through withdrawal and blah 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 and I was like what that's not true I've never been sure on my medication except for when they were weaning me off like yeah absolutely I'll be the first to tell you and I haven't been on that uh, medication for a while you know what I mean anyway it doesn't matter um, and so I reached out to this YouTuber. I'm like, listen, you can get sued for that. You are defaming me. That is a lie. The first thing she says, she calls me an asshole. That's exactly what she did. She called me an asshole. And I said, look, you know, and anyway, um, she eventually, she takes, she took those videos down anyway. Um, but you guys have to watch, uh, if you're a content creator, you have to watch what you say. Just because somebody says something doesn't make it true right? Unless you cannot because, okay, so if somebody made a video and was like, yep, Anna's on these narcotics, she lied, she hasn't been clean for 16 years, um, uh, she still takes this medication, how do you know it's true? Have you seen a video of me like all fucked up all over the place? Do you have proof? Do you have proof that I go short on my pills? Do you have a doctor saying that? Do you have like uh, 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 me laying down on my bed through withdrawal. Why I'm not make videos for four or five days? Just because somebody says something doesn't make it true. And you cannot make videos without facts. You know? 
You can't say, well, when she doesn't make her videos, it's because she goes through withdrawal. You can't say that because that's a lie. That's a lie. And I am, I am very excited of my recovery. It's almost, August will be 17 years. And you people might feel, because I made a video that says I've been clean, which most people would never come online and say, yes, I was a crackhead at one time. You know how hard that was for me to do? But I made that video for you guys to see I am a person. I am not perfect. I have flaws. And if I can do it, you can do it. If you backslide one day, guess what? You get up the next day and you try again. If you use again, you get up and you try again. If you've been clean for five years and you fuck up, you try it again. That was the re reason why I made my recovery story. I can help one person to let them know, look, I was there at one time and look where I'm at now and you can do it. So you take that video that I made, it was a positive video and use it for your narrative and try to say, she hasn't been clean. Just because it's not crack, uh, uh, she's not been clean. That was a prescribed medication from a doctor that I needed it for pain from a back injury. Do you understand? And that's nobody's business. First of all, that should have never been online because I never told the internet that. So nobody should be talking about what medication I'm on. That's number one, unless I talk about it in a video. Okay. Anyway, the sec this person, a second YouTuber, took it down. But this person made video after video after video. Now, when me and this one, the first YouTuber talked and we realized we didn't do it, we both make an apology video, that should have been the end of YouTuber number two making videos. I didn't scam you. That's what you were mad about to begin with. But now you're making videos calling me a manipulator. You're making all these videos, calling me all these names. What are you mad for? What are you upset for? I didn't do anything wrong. Now... Me and this first YouTuber, we squashed our beef. She just made another video um, on her channel saying that she knows now it wasn't my fake account. She knows all of this was never me to begin with. This second YouTuber has never apologized. You know what she did? She just makes a video because somebody leaves a comment on her thing. The only reason why I know about it because, you know, some of you guys reach out to me and it's like, hey, did you see this video? She makes a comment because somebody brings up how this second YouTuber talks about all these other YouTubers. And this second YouTuber threatens and was like, well, I could put that video back up of just then and then tell us my business. Again, about me being the pills and all that kind of stuff. And opiates. I was on opiates. Again, you didn't hear it from my mouth. So where did you hear what type of prescription drug it is? Do you know what I mean? Anyway. This is what I'm talking about YouTube. It really upsets me because some people are just so negative and believe what people say. And you know what? Do you, people don't understand what you can do to somebody's name when you defame them, when you slander them. Do you understand when it's not true what you can do to them? This whole time, six months, every video that she made about me, I never, ever responded. I'll tell you why. One. Because when she started talking about me, she only had 200 subscribers. I would be a bully then if I said something. And even if I told you guys don't say anything or whatever like that, I didn't want anybody going to her about that. Even though she was doing me dirty, I didn't want that. Because I know what it's like to be bullied. Because when people thought that I did make that thumbnail, know that, I mean, the comments I was getting, you should kill yourself. You should blah, blah, like all, I mean, terrible, terrible stuff. You know, some people were in her comments saying, that's why her husband left her. What? And I never even did these things that were saying about me. But I never did that. And also, why? Because you want me to? Like, she would make videos. I had a blocker on Instagram and everything else because every time she made a video on me, she would tag me. I don't. I was going through so much in my life, the separation and everything, like marriage counseling, uh, still grieving, uh, moving into this house. And I, in this one room, I still don't have furniture downstairs because... I just can't. That's where my mom died at. Uh, now, every time I go downstairs, I don't see my mom dead on the chair. But I used to do that. I was going through so much, guys, that I didn't want to watch somebody talking about me that wasn't true. She has never once apologized to me. Not once. Never made a video saying I was wrong. 
Now, she took the videos down because I made a community post saying I wanted to be a better person. I've, absolutely, I'm going to counseling. Me and my husband are back together. We're working on our marriage. And I was very mean to my friends when I was going through what I was going through. I want to be a better mother, a better person in general. Work on my health. It's not because of videos you made, right? I, I, I just don't understand and, and, and people go to that type of stuff. People like negativity and they will watch that type of stuff. That is what gets abused nowadays. I don't understand the content creators that want to bash another content creator. Listen, if they are doing something wrong and you have proof, yes, people need to be held accountable for. But if you don't know if something's true, just because of hearsay, I mean, you have to be careful. I'm looking for my, uh, to deepen up my outer edge. You have to be careful what you say about somebody because that's why people are getting sued now. Tati almost sued, uh, what is her name, Katie Joy. Another YouTuber is getting sit, um, sued for $10 million. Why? Because you are defaming their name. Like Just Dan, that is my brand. That is my name. So when you say, when she doesn't make videos for four or five days at a time, she's going through withdrawal that she is not clean, you are defaming me. When you say I'm a scammer and a manipulator and you have no proof, you are defaming my brand, me, my name. You understand what I'm saying? Because you can get sued that way. Now, I wouldn't sue her. I mean, you know, she don't really have anything. I don't really have anything. And she took the videos down. But I'm just using that as an example I mean, you understand what I'm saying? I reach out to you and say, listen, stop, and give her an, uh, and say, listen, people can't get sued for that. And she calls me an asshole. Then she had it out with another YouTuber, and this YouTuber was making videos and stuff like that. Where this YouTuber reaches out to me, this second, this other YouTuber that the second YouTuber was making videos on. I know it's hard to, uh, to uh, it's a lot of stuff, and she says. And I know this one YouTuber was making like 10 videos on you. She was like, and now she's making videos on me. What should I do? I said, don't say anything. Why? Why? Don't give anybody, don't let anybody know they got to you. Well, she doesn't listen. She goes and she does a few live streams. I reach out back to her and I was like, listen, I seen your live stream. You said what you had to say. Don't say anything anymore. Let it go. She don't listen. But guess what this second YouTuber does? Because she already made 10 videos on me. She says, this YouTuber, the one YouTuber she's talking about, I know Just Ann manipulated her, and I know Just Ann made her make those videos. Again, you have no proof. And if you would have reached out to me, or the other one, I would have told you and she would have told you. I told her, don't say anything. And that was wrong. And do you know how many people came to me and say, you know, this so-and-so is making all these videos. Why aren't you saying anything? Why are you letting her say these? Why aren't you taking up for yourself? And I said, because this stuff isn't true and I don't care. I got too much going on, on my, in my personal life, my real life, to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want her to get bullied. Well, she hasn't learned her lesson because she's talked about so many YouTubers now that people are talking about her and she doesn't like it. She doesn't like when people talk about her because it's not a good feeling. It's not a nice feeling to get talked about. You know what I mean? And, and, and feel like people are coming down at you. And I don't understand why people are like this. Like, why? Why? Going back in with that first brush, just, just to blend this out. Like, why are people like that? Like, I don't understand. Like, this drama. Like, are you that miserable that you have to make videos on all these people that you don't even know if it's true and then you're finding out things aren't true and you're still making these videos like and to just make a video and threaten i'll put those videos back up like it is crazy i'm gonna go in with my huda palette and i think i'm gonna go into this shade right here for my shimmer shade and i i use my finger because i'm a finger oh that's gorgeous now me and the first youtuber we talked everything out we hashed it will, will, will we be best friends no too much damage has been done but we're over it you know we 
it's over with. You know what I'm saying? And we both learned valuable lessons like, again, like what? stop believing gossip. Stop believing things if you don't have proof. Don't make videos. Don't put your business on YouTube. I learned a valuable lesson. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got from that. We both apologized to each other and we're moving on. You know what I mean? I had people saying like, they wanted to go to drama channels about me because they really believe this stuff. You know, they really believe this stuff about me. Now imagine if drama channels would have took it. I had people saying they wanted to go to Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, Rich Lux. Hold on, let me see who that is. All right, sorry about that, it was my daughter. Um, now, what if the drama channels would have picked it up and then all these things were put out about me and here it wasn't even true. Do you know what damage that could do to somebody's like, I don't want to say career, but like, do you understand what that could have done? You know, it, it's terrible. And that's what I, it's like turning me off with YouTube. Like I see, as soon as some drama happens, I'm going to go in with the wipe and clean this up. As soon as something happens, people are quick to make all these videos before somebody can defend themselves or um, because it's for views or whatever. Now, there are people that like, uh, what's her name? Creep show it art. That's terrible. You know what I mean? But like other people, you know, like me, before I can defend myself, so many people got mad and just assumed I did it and made uh, um, comments like accusing me of all. I lost so many subscribers between my Instagram this channel, my first channel is probably close to a thousand people. And for me, a thousand people is a lot. Um, because they just thought I would, uh, uh, that I was this type of person. Do you see how it's now, how I cleaned it up, how it looks? And that's all that I do. That's why like I go in with my eyes first and I, it's messy and I don't care because I could just clean it up. And then I'll go in with my face and then, you know, my lower and boom and I'm done. All right, let me get my face primer and my foundation. There's a new foundation I want to try, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm going in with my For, for Sally Blur um, primer and then the Poreless Putty primer from e.l.f. But, um, I don't know, I lost my whole train of thought. And so, I, I like, YouTube has definitely changed. It used to be so positive, and I loved YouTube. But like, I'm just using me as an example, like how somebody took that one, just because one person said it, then another person made all these videos about me. And then even when they found out it wasn't true because she was getting views, she kept up with the with the scenario and said other things that weren't true. You know what I mean? And then she, it turned into like this hate campaign when I didn't even do anything wrong. And then you take my videos down and you never apologize, but yet you threaten that you'll put them back up because somebody else made a comment that I didn't know about. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, I know this other person had a problem with somebody I'm friends with. Well, listen, that's between you and her. And that's a whole other story I don't want to get into. But like, because, you know, she's not here to defend herself. But it's like, I just don't understand it. Um, why people are the way that they are you know and you know that other people they just believe it because one person says it you know what I mean I don't know and maybe I'm just in my feelings and uh, um, I, I, I just don't know okay this is the new Tarte uh, what is it called it's called Hydroflex it's in the shade 205 light sand the light medium shade the neutral was sold out so and this is more like do you hear it it's like a liquidy it's more like a oil foundation like a like a lighter coverage i'm surmising i've been into that and when i started makeup i was like full coverage now i'm more into like um light coverage you know all right i don't did i even shake it let's see i haven't even did like a touch like a uh you know to see if it uh matches um where is my foundation brush I usually go in with this brush from It Cosmetics. It's like a heart right here. And then I go in with a beauty blender. So we'll see what I like better. Because it's so liquidy, I'm going to put it on my beauty blender and then dot my face with it first. Okay, 
it's not as liquidy as I thought. Like I thought it would be like where you put it on and it would just like, you know, go down your face. So let's try the brush first and see how much coverage that gives. Um, oh my God, that's like giving like no coverage. Jesus. I don't know if I like this. This is like nothing. What in the world? Yeah, this is like no coverage. Let me go with my beauty blender. I might have to go with another foundation because this is, I mean, I, I still see my red marks. Let's see. Let's build her up and I'll do the beauty blender. So let me know down below if you think I'm overreacting. Um, I'm sure she sees this video. She'll make another video about me. She'll probably start making videos about me now. Um, but I just had to get that off my chest because, you know, one of you guys, which I won't say who, had sent me this clip that she just made about, like, threatening. Like, she'll put this video back up, and it's like, I didn't even do anything. Like, and if you do put it back up, and it's not a threat, I mean, just be prepared. What can happen when you defame somebody that's not true? You know what I mean? Like, you just can't say these things. Okay, so go in a second time build it up but it's still not the coverage that I want like it's still I can still see a lot of red and I don't want to put three coats on so let me go get another foundation I don't know how much I'll actually use this all right I'm gonna go in with my peach perfect in the shade nude I'm just gonna not put that much on my face I already have two coats of uh the other yeah, so this stuff was really bothering me. Like, I just had a, I, I like, my husband was like, Ann, don't even talk about it. Let it go. And I'm like, I just, it, like, put the icing on the cake. And I'm using me as an example, but there's so many people that do that, that just, like, somebody makes a video and boom, they believe it. And then they go make videos. And then, you know, like, it's true without any proof or, or let an, another person defend themselves. Do you know what I mean? Or when they get found out that, the stuff isn't true they never apologize they just okay you might delete your video or unlist or whatever the case may be yeah this is a lot better um that that's all that you do when i then what i do is i go in with some setting spray this is gerard cosmetics i have a discount code with them it's just in and all caps and you can save 30 percent off and i do that that way it'll move around a little bit more i get to blend it a little bit more but i always do that with my foundation and my concealer which you'll see um let me take my earrings off. Why do I still have my earrings on? You know, then that's fine. Like, if you, if you just want to talk about it and give your opinions. But when you go in and say, girl, she did this and this and this without saying, like, this is what I heard. And if it's true, this is how I feel. I can't guarantee it's true. But if it's true, you know what I mean? Or if somebody does something that you see it and you want to hold them accountable, that's different. But without proof, you have to have, especially nowadays, you have to have proof um, before you say anything about somebody. Like, me, about my sorority means so much to me. Um, like, I'll, like I said, I'll leave that video down below. That, you know, to, then to go and make a video, again, I'm using this just as an example, um, and say, you know, that I'm not clean and all that kind of stuff. That's a lie. You're defaming me. Now, you did make statements. She did make statements like, in my opinion, you're not clean, um, you know, just because you're on uh, prescribed medication. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Okay, fine. You know, I think I'm clean because, you know, alcohol was my choice of drug, and then I went into harder drugs. But, you know, I, I, I always took my pills and stuff the way they were prescribed. And it was a doctor prescribed me. And if you go to pain management, anybody that's ever been in pain management, they will tell you that, um, you get a drug test every month. So they find out if you have too much in your system, if you don't have anything in your system, they see that if you know what I mean, if you have other things in your system. So evidently, I mean, I, everything was good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, 
And really, what is that your business? Like, what? I think there's what, like things you just don't talk about. You don't talk about somebody's sobriety on YouTube. You don't talk about what medication they're using, especially they they didn't say that is. You, you don't talk about their kid. Like, you know, when you talk about this thumbnail, then you're bringing up my kid. What my kid? What happened to my kid? And when you're not, when you talk about it, and you're not referencing, well, this is what happened with this thumbnail because her daughter had open heart and lung surgery. You're just making it like oh she made this thumbnail but not show, telling context of what the thumbnail was about to meet your narrative so you can get these views or have these people think badly about me because you think you, I scammed you it's just wrong on so many levels like I never once heard her say what well, this thumbnail was about her daughter who had open heart and lung surgery her almost died no she just says a thumbnail that could be anything I don't know I'm getting all upset again, which I don't need to, but it just, it, it, YouTube has just became, it's like gossip, like, he, you know what I mean? Like what I'm doing, <laughs> but you know. All right, I'm going to go into this Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Butter. We got this in a boxy premium, I think. And this is getting late, so I'm gonna powder and then probably off camera, I'll do everything else and then I'll come back um, I'm looking for my powder brush, and then I'll come back and um, like finish my eye look. Oh my god, I'm spilling everything because the air is on. So I'll do that real quick, and um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I have all my face makeup on. I do have my lips on. I put my earrings back on. So the only thing I have to do is finish up these eyeballs. And I'm going in with my Deuce Cosmetics. Um, eyeliner in the shade blue and you guys remember so I made a video on my first channel on my main channel just Anne, and I was like you know it was so small and I was out of it and one of you lovely people sent me yours so thank you so much Michelle I really appreciate it all right let me just use this brush here and go in on my waterline see the difference how it looks if you are scared to use color, like eyeshadow, and you don't know what to do, start going in with color on your waterline. I'm telling you, that's how I started, you know? Because cinnamon colors were like my color. You know what I mean? Like I never used green, blues, purples, anything like that. I might have used orange like as a transition shade, but when I started using like the blues, the greens, the purples, the teals, like under on my waterline, then I gradually started to get into color alrighty so I'm going to go into my modern renaissance and go in with that orange that I used as my transition shade to be one of my first colors underneath my eyes and I like go right here I connect it and I start there alrighty then I'm going to go in with the shade love letter that's up top here and I'm going to take like this detail brush and go in with this brown that's up here and I'm not gonna go all the way in because that'll make my eyes look smaller so I'm only gonna go like halfway in and I'm gonna make sure I connect it to where the top part is I'm gonna start right about there like that and then what I usually do is I'll go in again with this and there we go all right I'm going to put on I'm using three different mascaras today because I am a hashtag natural lashes let me know down below if you're a hashtag lashes or hashtag natural lashes so I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back and then I'll you know like end the video all right guys and that is everything so this was probably one of my first get ready's with me on this channel and i think on my main channel i only did it like once or twice so i apologize once i get talking it's like then i can't focus on my makeup and then this video is going to be long and you know i hope you guys watched it without fast forwarding it too much and i was probably all over the place because 
that's why when I do my story times or stuff, I don't do my makeup. Let me know down below, and I really want to hear your honest thoughts. Do you like it when I talk and get things off my chest, or story times? Would you ha rather have me do my makeup or, you know, just film already with my makeup on and then talk? Let me know down below. I'm really interested in that. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy, and most importantly, stay you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.